Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, today we are building a greenhouse irrigation system. Let's get up and down. So, where did this all start? Well, first of all, we got like a wee tiny greenhouse, and we got some seed, a seed kit, and put it together. Um, we just left it, and then all of a sudden, all these stuff just shot up. And then uh, I was like, I can't believe it worked, you know. So, start off wee tiny greenhouse, and then what happened was we got uh, we got some pots to spread the the wee seed seedlings out, make it bigger, and it just started completely covering the uh, one of the rooms in the house. It was actually got so big that it started blocking out all the light because the leaves were trying to photosynthesize and stuff, you know. So that then they all on us to actually get in the greenhouse, this here greenhouse here, and uh, ended up putting everything into it. But the difficulty is is trying to trying to water it all the time. So uh, saw this thing online for like twenty quid. It's pretty much a watering system to water everything. So you, you just turn the top on and it does them all. Uh, so we're going to, Noah loves it. It's going to give him some stuff to do for a while. And, you know, we're going to do that today. But, but something else happened today. Noah, come here. What happened today? Show everybody what happened. What happened? My tooth fell out. His tooth came out. Front tooth. So let's go do some greenhouse stuff. Line. This is some of the stuff that you get with it. You get like a hose divider with a little kind of twisty thing that you can set the amount that goes out. Uh, it's quite handy because see once you get it in, uh, it means it's just like it's too it's too it can be a bit rough and you can kind of go a little bit more. No, you want to jump in? Okay. Get some tape, but that's just for this this part. I already had that plugged in, so I didn't need it, but I might put it in later. Uh, because it means I can run a sprinkler system and it's something else in the same so it's handy. That's why I kind of why I bought it. You get the tube, and then you just cut, 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 cut as you go. Uh, you then, I only used the misters. The misters go in like this. There's two types of tube connectors. This goes in, the mister goes in, it adjusts like so. You then have the pipe, and uh, pretty much this goes into the pipe like this. And uh, you just connect as you go. You have loads. This is the leftover pipe. I actually have more stuff gonna going in. This would be dead handy for uh, the the outside parts of the garden. So we might just do that. You also get the tube, so you can put two tubes in at once if you wanted to. So the this basically screws off like so. Screw this off. Plug it in, things like this. Kind of push this on really hard. Screw it back on again. And then this is a standard hose connection. I mean, that's how your water distributes. So you have the misters. They just kind of create a mister. Fact, it spreads out and it goes that way. You then have like the drip feeders. So the way the drip feeders work is you need to put a piece of pipe in between this. It's like this here. Thing. Oh, it's, it's, adjust, it's also adjustable as to how fast you want. You must if you're going on holidays, you just let it drip all day and let it go. It's a slightly different connection and you need to put a hose in between these connections or it won't work. It just won't work. 
You then get these devices for the drip. So the idea is that you kind of plug it into the plant. And then plug it into the plant, put the pipe on like this, and then just let the drip, 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 drip. Goes out like this, and here, and then that just drips away. So imagine that's the plant, goes in like that, and it just drips, gives it lots of water. You also get a one part hose if you don't have one of these, so uh, you can connect in, but most people will probably have this as a connection on their hose. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. You do get a connector in case you want to take one of the, the feeds out. So you just want to link the hose straight into each other. And then you get the stopper, which goes in the last part of the hose that's not being used. It looks like... Can you see one here? I already... There's, looks like this. There's the stopper. It goes at the last part of the hose. That's pretty much it. And... Uh, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Let's get up and down.